everyone, Joel Hanson here. Today I'm in Old City, yes, Old City, Philadelphia, guys, outside the Twisted Tail. We're in for a hell of a treat. So this is a very well-known bourbon bar and pub in the area offering an absolutely exquisite, completely scratch kitchen. So essentially we're gonna have just a big spread of food, guys. We're gonna highlight some beef options, some seafood options. We got so many amazing, delicious looking things. I'm so pumped, guys. So let's go try out some of these amazing items here offered in downtown Philadelphia. And at that, let's go eat some food. All right, everyone, so here we are with the absolutely massive, massive spread of food. Of course, we're my good and longtime friend, Mr. Aaron, the world's greatest moderator, guys, if you're not familiar with him. Um, so here we have an awesome spread. So what we have in front of us, starting back here, we have the Blue Point Oysters, guys. So we're talking some oysters on the half shell, of course. I'm hard to run with oysters. They have their mignonette. We have some cocktail sauce, hot sauce, all actually made in house, which is nuts. But I'm so excited. We have their Wagyu beef tartare, guys. This looks absolutely amazing. There's actually an egg yolk on it, not to mention the tartare. We got some lovely kind of crostinis bread going with there. We have their grilled hanger steak, a really like pub kind of style classic with some of the shishito peppers, guys. We have some potatoes there on the bottom. I have also their fried chicken, which I'm super, super, super excited for. This is a butter buttermilk fried chicken. They actually put on a rosemary honey all over it, so it sounds exceptional. We have their famous crawfish mac and cheese. It is one of the most popular items on the menu, so we had to give it a go-to. We have their famous shrimp and grits, guys. I know there's also some bacon there. We got some scallions. The shrimp are huge tiger shrimp. Like, literally, look at, look at the size of these. These are giants, so I'm mean, looking forward to diving into that. We have some of their famous smoked pork ribs here, guys. Again, another absolute classic. Those just look exceptionally delicious. We have their shishito peppers. A lot of like what they do here is on that charcoal grill. It's what helps make this place just so unique. Same as even this taco. This is a chorizo taco with a full encased house-made chorizo sausage. And again, also done on that grill. And last but not least, we have their heirloom beets, which looks super, super cool. They actually pickle them in house. So I'm pumped. Aaron, ready for some food? I am so excited. This spread looks amazing. And that's what it is, you know, guys. A food, good times, you know, hanging out with friends. This is what it's all about in life, you know? So we have some good eats in front of us, guys, and we are in for a heck of a treat, so let's get eating. All right, guys, so I know where I want to get started. Um, Aaron's not a big seafood guy, but I am, so, you know, he might not have, let's say, indulged in, like, all these oysters like I am, but I'm going to throw some of their house-made hot sauce on this oyster right here, and uh, I'm just going to give this a bit of a slurp. Aaron, if you want to start with anything, please, by all means, maybe this, mm. I mean, hey, that chorizo taco, put some of that salsa on there, that looks just delicious. All right, cheers, my friend. Cheers. I like it. Mm. Mm. Ooh, man. That hot sauce, got some really nice garlic in there. I love, love, love an oyster. These are pretty, they're pretty like saltini, pretty briny, but it just goes so well with just the, the, the little flavor of the hot sauce. I'm put some cocktail sauce on this one here. That's very, ooh, interesting cocktail sauce. Dude, how's that taco? Taco's really good, I love the corn tortilla. And the chorizo sausage has a perfect snap and great flavor. And this salsa verde, great compliment. Okay, and this oyster with this house-made mini net, guys, so much black pepper, so delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh, oh man, dude. What's that flavor profile like? Dude, that just like, it is pepper, a little vinegary, the saltiest of oyster, guys. I love oysters. That was, that is fantastic. Honestly, I am, wow, I'm, I got one left and I'm disappointed I only got one left. Guys, I, I love oysters here, um, like so, so, so much in the recent years. I'm like, oh, it's just like, put a little more hot sauce in that one. Mm -hmm. Great, great, great combo. I love that. All right, I'm gonna try the taco now. I'm gonna offer Aaron some oysters, but he's not a seafood guy. Hence, <laughs> I kind of ate them all, guys. But it's so fantastic. Let me, let me have a nice close up. Just look at that. Look at that beautiful, beautiful looking taco. All right, so chorizo, all house made, which is super cool. Tomatillo, got some peppers on there. Oh man. Ooh. We tried some like guajillo peppers or something there. Mm. Dude, that's like smoky. Yeah, it's smoky. delicious. You get that grill. Mm. That is a beautiful taco. All right, that was awesome. I thoroughly enjoyed that, dude. Taco was great, oysters were great. Um, how about we start with a classic? So I love barbecue. Here we got some of their smoked pork ribs, guys. Smoked, delicious pork-looking ribs. Got some nice glaze on there. I am 
Ooh, dude, smell that like kind of candied mm. sugar. Let's just uh, cheers, man. I'll give that. Cheers. A, give that a bite. Mmm. Oh man. Mmm. Sweet. Super sweet. Mm -hmm. Succulent, just fall off the bone. Super tender. See this red? Look how it just, it just falls off the bone. Mmm. Mm. Dude, it's like, it's like brown sugar. Nice light smoke. I want a whole rack of these. <laughs> Honestly, I would take a whole rack. I will say, if you want to, Aaron, have that last one. Because I got the shrimp grits to, to dive into, guys, and this looks awesome. These are huge, huge, huge tiger shrimps. There's that bacon vinaigrette on it. We got scallions. Um, you know, I'll dive in. I'll talk to this where you enjoy that rib, dude. But I gotta Thank say, guys, you. those are that's that is so good. There's uh, I don't know. There's a little bit of generosity going on giving them that. That's how good it is. <laughs> but look at the size of these shrimps, guys. I'm just gonna pound this one. Really get a nice kind of cheesy. Grit from that grits. Oh man, that is a rich, rich, rich succulent grits. Mm. Try some of this bacon jam or the bacon bacon vinaigrette, I should say. Oh man, mm. that is rich. That is succulent. Yeah, look, giant shrimp, dude. They're huge, like legit tiger shrimp. People don't use these things because they're, you know, you know, so 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 exquisite. This is an amazing value I'm getting here. If you ask me, that is the tiger king. Yeah, the tiger king, guys. Get the bites together. Mm. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. <laughs> All right, man. I gotta say, guys, that is probably the best sugar grits I've ever, ever had. Just the flavors, that bacon vinaigrette, guys, just super creamy grits. I'm gonna dig into the grits. I definitely wanna try that. Dude, yeah, definitely try it. It's awesome. Get some of that bacon vinaigrette on there too. The like grits that. are really good. Dude, like I've never had a creamier grit ever. I don't think so. I don't think I have either. Like who knows, like don't be whatever, but like, I didn't even know it was possible. <laughs> like <laughs> they got this on fire, man. Dude, those peppers. I'm gonna try this too. We got what, shishito peppers guys? Mm. Again, charcoal grill. Oh, salt, pepper, oiled up. Ooh, man, mm. that is fire. I'm a, oh man, this is an, like an app they serve. Dude, I can just eat these endlessly. I love shishito peppers. Mm. Honestly, that's one of my first times having them. Really? Just, just by themselves like that? I've never mm. seen this serve like that, but I tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a bite of this lovely shishito. It's, it's a really nice pepper. Not a, not a lot of heat. I'm gonna douse them on these shrimps. Mm, good idea. Mm. How is that? Oh, oh, oh boy. Man, that combo. Just that like grilled flavor, a little bit of pepper. Mm. Mm. And that seafood, 10 out of 10. I would recommend that. All right, so that was delicious. I'm going to next, I'd say, maybe do some steak? Let's do some steak, I love steak. Here guys, hanger steak, looking very, very mighty, mighty fine up in this business. We got the little potatoes in there, guys. We have some more shishitos. Now they season these, they marinate this. I look, it looks awesome. We got it cooked like a good old like medium. Um, so that looks delicious to me. I'm, yeah. def I'm definitely down. I'm all about that beef life, but Cheers. give it a shot, man. I love a steak. Mm. Mm. There's a really nice flavor in that. Mm. The charcoal flavor from the grill really comes out first. Mm. Charcoal, it's more that looking steak there. You know what it is? I think it's that chimichurri on top. Mm. And these fingerling potatoes. These are mm. really, really good. They look really nicely spiced and soft too. Potatoes. Perfect. It's like a paprika. It almost reminds me of like a Nashville hop. I can definitely see that. Mm. I could eat this seven days a week. Uh, really good flavor. And they said it's like a classic. And I think in that hanger steak kind of roots back to those you know, kind of British, English kind of vibes, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? The roots. So, yeah, I like it. All right, so we got lots of peppers, guys, but we also might as well bring in some other healthy vegetables. We have these beets. So pickled beets, guys, heirloom beets, look awesome. It's on kind of like a bit of a yogurt thing going on here, but 
Oh yeah, smells good. I don't know if like, like some people like beets, some people don't. Beets are kind of a hit or miss thing. But I've never actually seen beets this color. So, mm. cheers. Cheers. Give it a try. Mmm. Mm. It's actually really nice and sweet. Oh man, I'm impressed. For, I'm gonna try a little bit of this yogurt kind of on there. Yeah. Nice creamy aspect, nice creamy flavor. I didn't, I've never had beets so sweet. I think it's probably because it's like, you know, heirloom, heirloom beets. Yeah. But a nice slice, light pickle. I get more of a pickly acidic flavor on the pink ones rather than the yellow ones. But all just really nice. It's almost like that yogurt, it um, kind of like neutralizes the acid, but it really still delivers that really nice pickle kind of flavor. You know what I'm saying? It does. What do you think, dude? I really like the pickled beets. The yogurt is a perfect complement to it. Very tasty. Beets, really, man. 100%. That is a must try for me. All right, I think a good place to go next is probably the fried chicken. Super crispy, house made looking butter fry, buttermilk fried chicken there. And then we have these. This is actually, believe it or not, with two of them, feel free to grab them. This is a sweet potato chunk slash fry. These are absolutely giant. So I'm definitely gonna give that a try. I mean, who doesn't like fried sweet potatoes? Shoot that chunk. Mm-hmm. Impressive batter on there. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna show you that crash session, guys. The impressive batter. I mean, it's a deep fried sweet potato. How can you go wrong? Great crunch on the sweet potato. In fact, I'm gonna dip it in some of this hot sauce. Great combo of the sweet and a little bit of the spicy. So we literally just had this conversation. I said, hey, what piece of chicken do you want? Aaron said, I'm gonna go with the thigh. Because I know you like breasts, and hey guys, that ain't wrong. <laughs> chicken breasts, of course, we're talking about chicken breasts. So look at this, we'll show you this kind of up close. Look at this chicken, guys. Super, super crispy. It looks awesome. I can just feel how crispy this is. We got that rosemary honey on it. it smells really good. I love a fried chicken. Cheers, brother. I'm Cheers. excited for this. I'll give you some, give you some. Oh, it's gonna be some good crunch. Oh, man. Woo! Mm. Okay. Incredibly crispy, crunchy batter. Mmm. Man. Nashville, eat your heart out. Uh -huh. This chicken may be the best in Philadelphia. Uh, yeah, there you go, guys. Philadelphia fried chicken. It is nice and juicy, but that honey, I love that sweetness on it, man. And just like, mm. yeah. Um, yes, please. We will have some of their hot sauce here, so I'm gonna try it with it. I'm a big hot sauce on uh, chicken person. I know Aaron is too. Lovely addition. Just like a little bit of, a little bit of heat, a little bit of you know, extra saltiness. Give you everything you need. Kind of coming from that fried chicken, guys. But yeah, I'd recommend it. I'm, I'm super impressed. All right, so while Aaron's diving into that piece of fried chicken there, yes, I will give it to him. Hey, if there happened to be a little piece I would be left, I would be sad. But I'm gonna try this crawfish, yes, crawfish mac and cheese, guys. This is a really kind of unique item. This is one of their favorites, in fact, they said. So they're making their cheese sauce again from scratch. Crawfish cooked into it, crawfish on top. Got some lovely little bits. I'll tell you what, guys, so I... Oh, man. Dude. All right. All right, hold up. Hold up, hold up. So me and macaroni and cheese are normally, admittingly, a little hit and miss. It's a good dish, I only like it in moderation. But look at this, everybody. Honestly, that may be the best mac and cheese I've ever had in my life. The bits of the crawfish in there, it is, has a nice cheese aspect to it, but it's not, like, it's not just like, it's not all I'm tasting, it's not overpowering. It is like succulent, so creamy. And those bits of crawfish. Dude, I know you're not a seafood person. Do you want to try it? I'll be brave. You got like, this is, guys, this is a, this is a must, must, must try. I'm super impressed. It is just like, and the delicious flavor of that crawfish, that mac and cheese, guys, the cheese sauce, the bechamel, whatever. That is, uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I'm excited to see Aaron's take on it, being not a seafood guy, but. <laughs> Not being a seafood guy is totally my loss, but maybe we are changing that today. Mm. 
super creamy macaroni and cheese. The crawfish actually isn't overpowering at all. There you go. It's actually more of a compliment to the macaroni and the cheese. Yeah. Rather than like the main star. I mean, I would actually, this is how much I actually think it is good. Hey guys, that's huge. Like I said, I, I've been trying to convince this guy to like try an oyster. I've been trying to like open this guy's palate to any <laughs> form of seafood. So for him, you to say that, honestly, I know it's really big. Um, but yeah, dude, I, I gotta say, I'm, I think that's what I'm most impressed with, of just how well these flavors complement each other. It's like creamy mac, but it is just like the perfect level of richness, of flavor, and then that crop is just such like a nice light addition. I really, really, really like this. I'm definitely impressed, and I got Aaron's stamp of approval, so I know that means a lot. Definitely. <laughs> so this is funny, so I'm, I'm finishing this up, and you know what Aaron says to me? Aaron says to me, he says, you know what, man? If I didn't know that was crawfish in it, I would definitely order that. Which goes to show how good it is, and again, just how well nice and balanced it is with that seafood and the nice flavors in it. So, again, coming from somebody that doesn't like seafood, that's a big, big, big thing. All right, so we actually went and got Aaron an oyster, because he was feeling really brave after the <laughs> crawfish experience, which, guys, like I said, that was an amazing mac and cheese. So, anyway, Aaron, um, if you want some lemon, I have some lemon right here if you want to try it. Okay. We have the oyster for him. It's a little a lovely oyster on the half show. We do have some hot sauce. Um, you know, man, just basically, again, the way I do it, I just take this, I just slurp it. If you want to use a fork, you can, um, but give it a go, man. Let me, uh... I'm going to follow your lead. I'm going to put a little hot sauce on it, and then I'm going to squeeze some lemon on it. Those are my, gonna... those are my two favorites, but I gotta say the mini net here was absolutely excellent. I got some hot sauce on that oyster action. Enjoy, my friend. The hot sauce definitely makes it a little bit easier to go down. <laughs> Honestly, not that bad. It was good, right? Not nearly as scary as I built it up in my head. Hey, there you go. And dude, <laughs> now you've had an oyster. And of all places to try, guys, I, they're good oysters too, by the way, guys. They're New England oysters. They're super close, come from just a couple hours away. So I like that a lot. Hey, I'm glad you got to try your first oyster today. Thanks for helping me brave that out, Joel. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thanks, thanks for pushing him to do it. But hey, man, that was delicious. Um, last thing here we got here, guys, besides some uh, leftover shishitos, is we have this lovely tartare. So this is awesome. There's an egg yolk on it, um, which looks delicious. Going to kind of you know mix that in with it all. If you're not familiar with beef tartare, so this is actually raw beef. Um, so you can try it, you know, eat it by itself essentially. There's usually a bit of like salt, you know, it's just basic seasonings. We also have some lovely, you know, kind of little bread crostini things here. So, I mean, you know, fork it, use a bread crostini, whatever you want. I'm just going to try it by itself first. I'll let Aaron get some there. I'm going to put on a little crostini. Nice. Again, lots of egg yolk guys on there. Just going to add that really nice kind of umami richness kind of thing going on. So, cheers, brother. Cheers. Got some pepper in there, that little bit of salt, that egg yolk really does add some great texture, getting just great mouthfeel. Cristini's are really good too. More or less, it goes like beef sushi, like sashimi. And that horseradish, with that beef with that black pepper, that is just a, that is a take home right there. And by that, I mean it's definitely a buy, in my opinion. I understand it's raw beef, that might scare some people. But, it's really good. I really like it. And, uh, yeah, it's something I definitely order again, but you like it? What do you think, dude? I really like it. For some reason, I'm more nervous about trying an oyster or crawfish than I am of raw beef. This is very good quality. Everything that Joel said is spot on about the flavor profile. And I love these crostinis. I would say the shishitos are a perfect chaser for it. Oh, sure. Well, I got in my mouth just a mix. Mm -hmm. Great combo. I should do. Try that bite. Have that bite together. That is uh, the pepper and tartar mix, guys. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Mm. Yeah. Two thumbs up. I would definitely say for show. That was really good. Uh, another item I would actually I consider ordering again. I really like this here. We've just been chatting, eating, eating uh, peppers, but we'll have the last ones. Aaron, dude, 
Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having me. I want to say, guys, like I said, really cool spot. If you're ever downtown, kind of, or that old town, old town, old city, old city, Philly, I should say. Um, Aaron led me to this spot here, and he just said this is a must try. This is a 10 out of 10 location. I looked it up online. I was like, yes, we have to go. So I'm super excited that we were able to come here, guys. This was an amazing place. They have so many, like so many cool things going on here. They have music. I think every like Thursday to Sunday, they have a live live blues jam. They have an extensive like you know uh, bourbon list. Um, that's really what they're known for here. Like uh, definitely a big bourbon and blues. But it's amazing that like this is all like a scratch kitchen. Like they're actually making the hot sauces. Um, they're making all the cheese sauces, guys. They even make the chorizo. I'm super impressed with everything here. I definitely recommend it. The the decor, we're up upstairs where they rent this out for parties and stuff. The decor here is super cool. And I think like it really is just a place. The vibe I get from this place is it doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. If you want to come have a nice drink, a small plate, a meal, just find some friends at the bar. This is that pub. It really has that kind of true... British English kind of pub gist in a way at least like atmosphere but then like I said it's complemented with just like the utmost impressive let's call it like pub food menu whatever you want to call it I've probably ever had it's like a casually sophisticated like it's just a casual atmosphere but that is a casually sophisticated slash upscale menu and I am super impressed it was all very reasonably priced also um I don't know. Yeah, I would. I would. I like it. I would definitely come back and just to like even, even just to hang out. Definitely, just even to hang out. The area is amazing. There's darts over here. There's lots of things that you can do to have fun. It's a great hangout spot. Great drink menu. Great food menu. And I know Aaron was mentioning that you're like you're like I'm gonna bring a wife here sometime. So definitely, if it gets the stamp approval to bring your wife here, I think it's well done. But do you have a favorite item today, man? I would say one of my favorites was actually the chicken, mm. a mix with a little bit of the hot sauce. I mean, there was great crunch on the chicken, great flavor, cooked perfectly. It was better than what your southern mama can make. Yeah, no, I gotta say, really good fried chicken. I have to agree with you. It was. I was so impressed how crunchy it was. That honey, I probably asked for a little bit extra of that honey because it was so just nice sweetness, great flavor. You know, I, I got I gotta give owed and credit to a couple items which I was pretty skeptical about but they said it was a must try and I, I said yes the, the 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 crawfish mac and cheese dude I have to actually give it credit they do it really 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 good I was very impressed by that like and shocked another was the beets I was completely shocked by the beets I still think I might want to order another one I loved it that much. Again, both were two items I kind of mentioned. They're like, this is a must try. I was like, really? But really, really is. Everything was really yeah, good. Everything the was, hanger steak. Yeah, everything was really good. I don't know, guys. I'm like, I don't want to, I'm a little torn because I don't know. And the oysters were fantastic. Like, I don't know. I'm, I'm You picked a favorite, so I'm not going to pick a favorite. I liked everything. But like I said, Aaron, thanks so much for accompanying me today, man. Thanks for the support, guys. You can only see Aaron as Aaron in the comments. Uh, but yeah, seriously guys, it's so fun to always travel around, meet up with all my lovely, lovely friends, followers, all you guys on the channel. So thank you so much for watching. If you're ever in the Philadelphia area, definitely stop on by Twisted Tail. Let them know that you saw some guy eat way too much food and or you saw this video. I'm sure they'll have a little kick out of it. Um, Aaron, any words? Thank you, Joel, for having me and letting me experience this with you. Definitely come check out the Twisted Tail. Great bartenders, great drink menu, great food menu, great vibes. You're gonna have a great time. <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of greats there, but I, I can't complain. I can't argue with it. So, and that everyone. Until next time, have a lovely day. Happy eating.